So now in this position, just feel, probably want to get back just a little bit. So in this position, I'm going to just take your head, and with the hand there, just feel what it'd be like to get up on all fours. Yeah. So, so when you slow it down, do you see where that hesitation is? Right? So do you see where, for a child, you now have to go into muscle? Because you have to overstep what your pelvis is not doing at the moment. Right. So side sit on the other side just so you can see the difference. Now, just doing that already, it's hard for you to even get your arm in this position versus where it was. Uh -huh. Do you feel how it's out more? That's okay because of the pelvis, but that's fine. So same thing when you take your head and now feel. But yet, getting up on all fours is a tad easier on this side. Right. So sit on whichever side sitting you feel is more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. They chose the side first. That's okay. Side sitting is like lying on your belly. You're always going to go to the easiest side automatically. Mm -hmm. And that's what kids do too. So it's, it's, most people look for the muscles of the arm to hold the system. What I'm looking for is the vestibular to do it. So in other words, if I were to present the ball right here, if you were totally on muscle, then you'd fall down, correct? Mm -hmm. So I'm not correcting you at whatsoever. I'm leaving the arm here. But immediately I'm going with my hand underneath the, the, the pelvis. So first what I'm doing is just, even in this position, even though it feels like my hand's on your shoulder and I'm at the iliac crest, what I'm really doing is how your sit bone and pelvis articulate your vestibular. So what I don't want to do is a force. My idea of a force is I'm going to go to a force. See how I'm forcing you now? Do mm -hmm. you feel that? Mm -hmm. So if I'm forcing you here, here you're really not learning because there now you're holding, starting to hold your breath. So I have to stay where your system is safe. And again, you're a very strong guy, you know, you drove a car here, you know, I know you're not going to do a face plan, but something in your system is saying, this is good enough for me. And that's okay. So now here, you can feel where the lack of participation in the spine. So all I'm going to do here. And again, notice how my hand's here. If my hand wasn't here just to, to take the weight off this arm, it's a completely different movement and see how it's much more difficult in your system. Mm -hmm. So just being here, already a difference. And again, notice it's not a stretch. It's not a, you know, implementing any kind of uh, hard touch. And so now feel the difference. Notice how the wrist is freeing up too. That's okay, keep your arm there. This is where it's so important for a child, even in this position, but I still have to keep your system safe. I'm just jumping the conversation a little bit. To do that. To do that. To do that. I can bring it back here bring it here. So now feel how you're shifting much more in your vestibular and you're giving the hand options versus fixing in this spot. So now feel, already now you're taller in your side sit. So notice it wasn't a correction, I'm just giving you options. So now I can come in here and just grab your hand. But see, now feel how you're easier going on to your right. See how it's an option versus so, so tighten your hand. Feel the difference. Mm -hmm. So let the hand go. So see how it's not about your upper body strength anymore. Right. The more and more your vestibular kicks in. So now, this is the part I want to show. So I'm going from the hand into the knee. So you can feel right, you know, here that you you don't know how to go to the knee, mm -hmm. which we already figured that out when you're sitting in the chair, and that's fine. And so you you just kind of.
putting a kind of a moment into that right leg to, for rotation. Right, right. Okay. But I'm doing it as a rotation. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would just go up, down, which would make some movements. But even at that rotation, just feel under your sit bone how much your glutes are contracting. Mm -hmm. No offense, you're just sitting on the table. I mean, you know, you're not climbing a staircase, but right here, no matter what I do, you're, you're going into, your muscles are engaging. So that means, first of all, I'm going too fast, but I don't care because you're a cognitive adult male, I can get away with a bit more. If you were, you were a child with, with special needs, I would just go back to this first. Because that means I haven't organized the sitting as well as I would have. But there, there the knee is starting to go for the table. So now just from this bit, I'm just gonna show you again. So I'm gonna take your head and go on to all fours. Look at the difference already. So the catch is going in the pelvis. So now, see now already the difference. So you're increasing the range of mo movement? Because you are. Is that? Yeah. Okay. That's where you have to be sensitive to your quality of movement. Yeah. So. Right. But notice how I'm not like, hey, you hiked mountains, you do, you know, figure it out. If, if you figured it out, then you'd be doing this. I explained it, do it. Still, I need to show you true movement. And again, if I don't know how the movement happens, then you're not going to know how the movement happens. Now at this point, I'm still going to go forward, but let's say I might, I've tried, I've tried, it's not working out, I'll flip you. Now you can, I'm not going to flip you to work on you, but just go to the other side, sit, and just notice if that's a difference now on the other side. Wow, yeah. Yeah. So, and notice too the ease when you come back, so come back and how much nicer you're shifting through the sit bone. But that's where I can work with the kids um, playing toys. So again, parents just see me, you know, playing around, doing things, mm -hmm. but I'm just tricking them. Uh, so right there, feel it in your chest. You can say, look at mommy, flash your blinky lights, whatever. Now let that go. Oh, there we go. That's so much nicer. There we go. See, now the pelvis is starting to come up over there. So now I don't have to probably ask you for your help. I might need it. I can come up this and just pull you up on all fours. So now I can start if I wanted to do something like this, even for just a little bit. Notice how I'm not correcting you, putting you in all four standard. I'm still working on that vestibular, but now I can come back down and then back up. And see how it gets easier? I'm going to go back down and then come back up. And just from that little bit now, come back up and then go to walk and then just feel what the right side feels with the left. So now side sit on the right. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. And now side sit on the left. Yeah. A lot more. It's a little different. Yeah. And now in this position even, see how I can go like this? Here. Now I can come underneath you. That's okay. See again, I have you nice and safe. Mm -hmm. I'm not throwing you to the you know right. and worried about a face plant. Here. Ah, uh, here. Feel the difference? I feel here. How you want to go up off the pelvis. Feel the difference? Yeah. Difference. Right. There we go. And now it's getting easier even over here. See now. Right. Does that help you understand though? Yeah. How to bring just even this little bit to your work? Yeah. Do you have questions? Yeah.